Welcome. I'm glad you've tuned in again to join me in looking at a new diaper. The Tykeables Puppers is an ABDL diaper that I discovered quite some time ago and am now putting to the practical review. There are 10 pieces in the package. I have again opted for the size M. It is according to the manufacturer for a circumference of 78 to 91 centimeters suitable and should therefore fit perfectly with me. The rougher adhesive area in front already shows that this diaper relies on Velcro fasteners. There are a total of three different. These I had already explained with their advantages and disadvantages in a separate video. The most common in the ABDL industry is the plastic resealable adhesive. The rest of the diaper is made of plastic film. I find it very pleasantly soft. Not as thick as the AB Dry, but also not as thin as cheap medical diapers, so you can feel a certain value. Inside we have the usual ABDL diapers in this price range increased leakage protection. It is intended to prevent leakage on the one hand, on the other hand, it offers space for additional absorbent pads. With the prints, the manufacturer has not spared and applied them to the entire diaper. The highlight is clearly the front area where you put the glue. Here are the largest motifs, which also stand out with a background color from the otherwise white diaper. The rest is suitably printed with paws and other things that fit playful comics, in Dean Dogs play the main role. The Velcro fasteners can be opened and re-glued as often as you like. Nothing positive or negative struck me here. They are the usual ones in the industry. They sometimes look a little loose, but hold tight. Biggest disadvantage of this type of glue. You can't close the full diaper with it. You have to tie a knot in a cumbersome way. During use, this does not matter. When you put it on, you notice how soft and flexible the diaper is. It just feels comfortable and adapts well to the shape of the body. Freshly pulled out of the package, you don't even have to fold or knead it. I find that comfortable. In contrast, other diapers like the crinkles are pressed heavily into the package and are hard. She has mastered the practical test well. As you could see at the beginning, my pack is almost empty, so I have tried some. Multiple wetting was no problem in each case. The liquid was absorbed well and only slowly spread to the back as you would expect from a good diaper. Towards the end you can see how it is already extremely wet, but at least when wetting it does not leak yet. Only when sitting down it dripped out a bit and she had to admit defeat. Overall, the diaper reached a total weight of almost 1.8 kilograms. This is not a new record, the best diapers exceed the 2 kilo mark, but a good value and for an everyday diaper, especially since, at 209 grams empty weight, it doesn't have quite as much material as the thickest diapers but that does not mean that it is thin. You can already feel that you do not just have a Tina slip between the legs, but something stronger and more valuable. Unfortunately, it is no longer available in German stores, even abroad the stocks are empty in many stores, but I had bought them in 2022 still in a German store, which has since taken them out of the program. I found the reason for this on the manufacturer's website. He writes that a new version of the puppers should come this year, but later, the new version should have a higher suction capacity, according to the website 7.5 liters. The pictures on the left seem to already show the new version, according to which the prints in the front will be even larger and more focused on the one particular motif. Unfortunately, no date is mentioned. The manufacturer has probably already started to change the production and has sold the remains of the first version in the stores. Some stores abroad still have some, for example in Switzerland. Let's therefore take a look at the price at which I ordered the diaper in Germany. 28.65 euros cost the 10 pack, so 2.86 per diaper. Here you can argue that you can get a critter caboose for currently 2 euros and 74 cents each. The caboose has a slightly higher absorbency and is also very high quality printed over the entire surface. The caboose is also made of a pleasant foil and you feel thickly wrapped. This is a valid point, one has to state soberly. The Puppers does not offer the best price to performance ratio. If you want that alone, you are better off with alternatives like the aforementioned rears. There he gets a little more suction power and can save a few cents per diaper for it. Especially since the availability is better with the alternatives, with this one you currently have to search quite a bit, depending on the country, until you find a store where they are still sold at all. Even if these points speak against it, I do not think it is a bad diaper. I really liked the motifs with the dogs, as well as the quality of the prints. This is also significantly higher than, for example, Pampers. Whereby one must say here fairer way to it. With the ABDL diapers, this has been getting better and better for a long time, 
so that you can now only find a few on the level of a Pampers. Most of them are better because part of the target group, namely the ABDL, also pay a lot of attention to the visual aspect in addition to the absorbency. This special design with the dogs is not found in the alternatives. And the feel is also different there. The emphasis is on different, because I do not find that in these points one of the two is better or worse. Both this diaper here I find very comfortable, it has a pleasantly soft film, not to be compared with, for example, the medical, which are often much rougher or harder. But also the rears feels good, it is a little thicker in detail and you feel a little better wrapped in it. Even with that, I wouldn't make a blanket statement that the rears is better. It depends, for example, do you want a thick diaper that can last a maximum amount of time, say for overnight use? Then the critter caboose is actually better for this purpose. If it doesn't matter that much, because you can't wear the diaper that long to take advantage of the caboose's maximum fill, then this one might be enough. Or even one of the diapers that I had in the test and had already reached their limit after significantly less than 1.8 kilos. This can be useful, for example, for people who only wear diapers for a few hours in the evening, but not all night or all day. When it comes to price, you should also remember. We're talking about 12 cents per piece. If you do not have to pay very close attention to money, then that is from my point of view still within completely acceptable limits to spend this amount more, if you like the motifs, for example, or you just find the diaper comfortable. In any case, I am very excited about the next version and hope that they maintain the good features there. The first pictures already look promising. It will also be interesting to see how much this new version will hold out in terms of suction power and at what price it will be available for purchase. I will continue to monitor this. If the new version is available for me, I will try to order a pack as soon as possible and perform a new practical test. I'll save the last one to two diapers from the current version to compare later. If you don't want to miss the video of this new diaper test, subscribe to this channel and activate the bell. The subscription is free and by activating the bell you make sure that you will be informed about all videos from me without them being filtered by YouTube. Thanks for watching, bye until the next video, stay dry.